Divi's Lab in any case has been a class apart in this entire space. It has been one of the biggest wealth creators for investors as well. Uh, Ekta is joining in too and Cinderella Carvalho of uh, Centrum Broking is with us as well. Cinderella, just uh, as we get more details on Divi's numbers, these are looking like a very good set of numbers. But your views? I think, see, I mean, Street has been worried uh, around, you know, Molnupuravar sales. And what we are seeing today is uh, definitely stronger numbers. We, we see that there is some support from base also coming for these numbers. So, of course, there is uh, Molnu also in this quarter. But uh, the recovery on the base uh, side of the generics and the cramps apart from Molnu is crucial to look at, uh, which is visible to an extent here. And I think we'll get a better color with the earnings call. Uh, but yeah, good numbers. Absolutely, uh, Cinderella, there's absolutely no complaint which is coming for Divi's Labs. Revenue was expected to grow 30%. It's an over 40% growth which they've reported. Um, the street was worried that they would manage to sustain 40% margin simply because of the input cost pressures that we've seen. So they've managed to actually beat estimates by 300 to 400 basis points in terms of a margin this quarter. It's coming at a high of around 44%. It's a multi-quarter high for D Divi's Labs in terms of margins. And obviously, you can see the profit which is almost uh, doubled this quarter for Divi's Labs. But the key question is, and the stock is up around 3 odd percent, the key question is, Cinderella, whether or not this quarter is a one off for Divi's because the Molnupiravir API supply is expected to have contributed quite significantly and that would be in the synthesis segment. But do you think that the margins as well as the business that we've seen, this base of around 2,400 crores, which they've reported, is actually going to be replicated simply because Molnupiravir might not be that great an opportunity as it was anticipated. Yes, with wave 3, it was, but will it sustain going forward? That's the key question. I agree with you. I mean, you know, most of the investors, you know, have, have the same question, right? All of us have the same question. But I think where we are, uh, where we need to wait and watch is uh, the guidance by the innovators that will continue to be strong. Almost five to six billion dollar guidance is given for Molnupuravir. Now, how, how it performs? in terms of our expectations versus real is something key to watch. If we look at that guidance, there is still room left for, uh, you know, if we consider that guidance as a base, there is still some room left for uh, growth on this base that they have uh, shown in this quarter. Of course, there is. we, we all want to look at beyond Molnupuravit, and I think that is the uh, criteria that everyone will follow. There is definitely high uh, high supplies of Molnupuravit that we see in this quarter. However, uh, in terms of uh, the base performance, I think uh, we will see some more of Molnu coming in, given the innovator's guidance on uh, the product uh, as a Please, base. Cinderella. Uh, but if there is any change beyond that, we'll have to wait and watch. Absolutely. You know? Cinderella, you know, interestingly, the Glenmark Life Management had said that they had uh, the ability to manufacture the Molnupiravir API, but they're just not doing it because they don't see an opportunity in it. And uh, that's the general trend. So it'll just be interesting to see how uh, the winds of change would move in terms of the COVID-19 opportunity as well. But Cinderella, you know, what would you like to know from the management at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Uh, in terms of commentary, what do you want to hear from them? Do you think that Paxlovid would be an opportunity that uh, Divi's would probably explore and that's something that the markets would also want to hear? See, I mean, if I remember management's earlier commentary, they have given the opportunity from COVID side itself uh, very high, right? And they have already told us that, you know, they'll be part of it. So, uh, in a way, we have an answer. But yes, I think the key that I want to know from the management is definitely that we look forward to understand what beyond uh, Molnupura will, what beyond the COVID opportunities, how do we see the base growing, how do we see the uh, other generics and the cramps apart from uh, the COVID-related basket? Okay. How should we look at it beyond? Is there, is there valuation comfort, Cinderella, in Divis? Because, you know, from the start of this year itself, it's outperformed the pharmaceutical index. And from a, uh, from a long-term standpoint as well, it's always done well, of course, on account of its execution. But valuation-wise, where does it stack up now? 
to see i mean valuations today is something that uh, you know looks like completely excluding the one off and this company being having a, the best blend on the generic side as well as on the cram side uh, definitely uh, trades above 40 times so uh, you know in terms of valuations today it doesn't look like a concern uh, however everybody would want to know in terms of what beyond uh, the uh, covid basket absolutely and whether or not china plus 1 is an is a sustainable opportunity for divis as well uh, what is the sustainable margin according to you uh, for divis going forward so i think you know the company even for molno supply started had already touched 40 right so i think anything above 40 is sustainable for this model is already known uh but uh, i mean i think that is what we are also looking at it we know cost, the blend of business given the input uh, cost is, pressure supply chain disruption that we've yeah. seen for all the other api companies and uh, you know the kind of pressure that they are facing in light of that yes this could have been supported by molnupiravir definitely but uh, in light of all of the supply chain challenges do you think 40% is sustainable going forward Uh, yeah i think you know because we most of the companies have also started giving a ease of uh, both of these like logistical as well as uh, you know input cost pressure at least it is stabilizing not coming down but stabilizing is what we are looking at from this quarter onwards Uh, however uh, q4 will still have some impact but most probably from q1 of next year things should be better off from these cost aspects cost inflation aspect and i think even dvs management has highlighted last quarter also that there is an impact of these cost pressures right nobody yeah. is sure. uh, excluded for a logistical cost pressure it is same for everyone okay so i think it remains but uh, over i think over a long term it should normalize uh, maybe okay. another two quarters so All right. Uh, Normalize for most of the company. Got that. Got that. The stock is actually spiking up now, and let's not forget that the stock has come off quite a bit from the highs that it saw in October. It hit a high. It had hit a high of fifty three hundred, and from there the stock is down almost about eighteen percent. So there is definitely leg room, uh, you know, on the upside for the stock now since it's come off quite a bit. But uh, all right, Sunila, we're going to thank you on that note. Thanks a lot for joining us. So, Ekta, final word from your end. Good numbers, solid numbers coming through. and stock reacting yes absolutely but you know the point you made that the stock is off those highs that we've seen from uh, you know it's 52 week highs so in context of such good numbers the stock is up 2% it's not a 10% rally because the market understands to a certain extent that there could be a one one off opportunity which is added into the divis numbers this time round and what happens once covid sort of declines in terms of an opportunity that would be the key question for divis labs but you can't take away from the fact that it's a 40% plus margin company and it's managed to sustain those levels for multiple quarters now it's been an excellent quarter for divis no two ways about that and remember same time last week there was a discussion that divis has delayed its numbers there must be something uh, you know uh, difficult uh, in terms of the announcement but in fact they've come out with a great set of numbers during market hours for the first time in multiple quarters and the